Welcome to DMV Pass, CDL Prep Test Combination Vehicles, Questions and Answers. Hey guys, thanks for your support. Today I bring you the Combination Vehicles video as requested by many viewers and I hope you'll take advantage of it. Please know that I really appreciate your comments, even criticism. I don't take anything personal but I try to use them to my advantage and do better. One thing I need to point out is that you may encounter duplicated questions, I mean questions repeated more than one time in the same video, be mindful as correct answers may switch positions. But all that is for a good reason, the learning purpose, this will help you memorize them effortlessly. Don't try to learn by heart. Just watch the videos at least two times and I can guarantee that you'll know better than you think you know. You'll be ready for your CDL test when you don't think you are. As announced in the title, the following are questions and answers to help you prepare for your CDL test combination vehicles. Let's go. When backing a tractor under a trailer you should. The correct answer is, A, always use the lowest reverse gear. After the trailer has been coupled to the tractor, the tractor protection control valve should be placed in what position? The correct answer is C, normal. The fifth wheel locking lever is not locked after the jaws close around the kingpin. This means that The correct answer is C. The coupling is not right and should be fixed before driving the coupled unit. The airlines on a combination vehicle are often colored to prevent them from mixing up. The emergency line is blank, the service line is blank. The correct answer is A, red, blue. The semi-trailers made before 1975 that are equipped with the air brakes. The correct answer is B, often do not have spring brakes. The air leakage rate for a combination vehicle, engine off, brakes on, should be less than, blank, PSI per minute. The correct answer is, C4. Compared to a straight truck or bus there are, blank, things to inspect in combination vehicle. The correct answer is, C, more. You have a major leak in the service line and you put on the brakes. Service air will escape and cause the The correct answer is A. Trailer emergency brakes to come on. A tractor with a trailer requires the shortest amount of stopping distance. The correct answer is C. Fully loaded. When you get ready to back under a semi-trailer you should line up. The correct answer is B. Directly in front of the trailer. To unlock the fifth wheel the locking lever should be placed in the blank position. The correct answer is C. Open. The tractor protection valve will close and the trailer emergency brakes will come on when there is a major leak in the brake line. The correct answer is C. Emergency. When coupling, the proper position of the fifth wheel is The correct answer is B. Tilted down toward the end of the trailer. What gear should the tractor engine be in after you uncouple the trailer and are inspecting the trailer supports? The correct answer is A. Neutral. You have coupled with a semi-trailer. Where should you put the iron trailer supports before driving away? The correct answer is B. Fully raised with the crank handle secured in its bracket. 
The safety latch for the fifth wheel locking lever must be blank for a coupling to be complete. The correct answer is A, over the locking lever. After you supply air to the trailer, make sure the air lines are not crossed and the trailer brakes are working. This is done by The correct answer is C, applying and releasing the trailer brakes and listening for the sound of the brake. Before you back under a trailer, make sure that The correct answer is A, the trailer brakes are locked. When you are uncoupling a loaded trailer you should lower the landing gear until it The correct answer is, A, makes firm contact with the ground, then crackle hits a low gear a few extra turns. What will happen if the airlines are crossed when you hook up to an old trailer? The correct answer is, B, if the trailer has no spring brakes, you could drive away but you wouldn't have trailer brakes. There are two things that a driver can do to prevent a rollover. They are, one, keep the cargo as close to the ground as possible, and two. The correct answer is C, go slow around turns. To stop a trailer skid you should. The correct answer is, B, release the service brakes. Why should you be sure that the fifth wheel plate is greased as required? The correct answer is B, to prevent steering problems. Your emergency airline brakes or gets pulled apart while you are driving. The loss of pressure will cause the The correct answer is C, emergency trailer brakes to come on. When connecting the glad hands, press the two seals with the coupler together at what degree to each other. The correct answer is B, 90 degree. Which of these statements is true? The correct answer is C. Bobtail tractors can take longer to stop than a combination vehicle loaded to maximum gross weight. Tractor with trailer requires the shortest amount of stopping distance. The correct answer is C. Fully loaded. There are two things that a driver can do to prevent a rollover. They are, 1, keep the cargo as close to the ground as possible, and, 2. The correct answer is, B, go slow around turns. After you have coupled the trailer you should have to raise the landing gear by using. The correct answer is, A, low gear. You supply air to the trailer tanks by The correct answer is A. Pushing in the trailer air supply valve Which part of the kingpin should the locking jaws close around? The correct answer is A. The shank how much space should be allowed between upper and lower fifth wheel after coupling? The correct answer is C, nothing. You have pushed the trailer air supply valve. You should not back a tractor under a trailer until the whole air system is. The correct answer is B, at normal pressure. You are coupling a tractor to a semi-trailer. You have connected the airlines.
before backing under the trailer you should. The correct answer is, A, supply air to the trailer system, then pull out the air supply knob. There are two things that a driver can do to prevent a rollover. They are, 1, keep the cargo as close to the ground as possible, and, 2, The correct answer is, A, go slow around turns. The air brake leakage rate for a combination vehicle, engine off, brakes off, should be less than, blank, PSI per minute. The correct answer is C, 3. The safest way to make turn without entering another traffic lane is, The correct answer is, B, you should turn wide as you complete the turn. The higher the center of gravity of your truck, the The correct answer is C, easier to turn over. A driver crosses the airlines when hooking up to an old trailer. What will happen? The correct answer is C. If the trailer has no spring brakes, you could drive away, but you wouldn't have trailer brakes. The hand valve should be used. The correct answer is B. To test the trailer brakes. When driving a set of doubles, it is necessary to close which shut-off valve in the last trailer, The correct answer is C, back. If the service line comes apart while you are driving a combination vehicle, but the emergency line stays together, what will happen right away? The correct answer is C, nothing is likely to happen until you try to apply the brakes. There are two things that a driver can do to prevent a rollover. They are, 1, go slow around turns, and, 2. The correct answer is, B, keep the cargo as close to the ground as possible. After connecting the airlines, but before backing under the trailer you should. The correct answer is, A, supply air to the trailer system, then pull out the air supply knob. You are coupling a tractor to a semi-trailer and have backed up but are not under it. What should you hook up before backing under? The correct answer is, A, the emergency and service airlines. There are two things that a driver can do to prevent a rollover. They are, 1, go slow around turns, and, 2. The correct answer is C, keep the cargo as close to the ground as possible. Why should you lock the tractor glad hands to each other, or dummy couplers, when you are not towing a trailer? The correct answer is B, it will keep dirt or water out of the lines. While driving behind other vehicle under good condition you should allow at least one second between your vehicle and the vehicle ahead for each, blank, how many feet of your vehicle length. The correct answer is A, 10. Explanation. Follow far enough behind other vehicles at least one second for each 10 feet of your vehicle length, plus another second if going over 40 miles per hour. Look far enough down the road to avoid being surprised and having to make a hard brake or sudden lane change. If the service line comes apart while you are driving a combination vehicle but the emergency line stays together, what will happen right away?
The correct answer is B. Nothing is likely to happen until you try to apply the brakes. Glad hands are usually connecting which of these? The correct answer is C. Service and emergency airlines from the vehicle to the trailer. You are about to back your tractor under a semi-trailer. The trailer is at the right height when the The correct answer is C. Trailer will be lifted slightly when the tractor backs under it. While checking if the tractor is securely coupled to the trailer the landing gears should be. The correct answer is B. Slightly raised. You should not back a tractor under a trailer until the whole air system is. The correct answer is B, at normal pressure. After you lock the kingpin into the fifth wheel, you should check the connection by. The correct answer is C, pulling the tractor ahead gently with the trailer brakes locked. Where should the tractor be when you inspect landing gear after uncoupling the trailer? The correct answer is A, with the tractor frame under the trailer. Your emergency airline breaks or gets pulled apart while you are driving. The loss of pressure will cause the The correct answer is B, emergency trailer brakes to come on. The front trailer supports are up and the trailer is resting on the tractor. Make sure. The correct answer is C, both A and B are correct. When uncoupling the trailer, after you shut off the trailer air supply and lock the trailer brakes, you should. The correct answer is B, back up gently to ease pressure on the fifth wheel. Air brake equipped trailers made before 1975. The correct answer is A. Often do not have spring brakes. The iron trailer supports are up and the trailer is resting on the tractor. Make sure. The correct answer is C. There is enough clearance between the tractor frame and the landing gear. If you cannot make a turn without entering another traffic lane. The correct answer is B. You should turn wide as you complete the turn. When checking the trailer emergency brakes, the tractor protection control valve should be placed in what position? The correct answer is C, emergency. You are driving a combination vehicle when the trailer breaks away, pulling apart both airlines. You expect the trailer brakes to come on end. The correct answer is C, the tractor protection valve to close. In normal driving, some drivers use the hand valve before the brake pedal to prevent a jackknife. Which of the statements is true? The correct answer is A. It should not be done. When should you use the hand valve to park a combination vehicle? The correct answer is C. Never. If the brakes are not released when you push the trailer air supply valve you should. The correct answer is A. Check airline connection. 
How should you test the tractor semi-trailer connection for security? The correct answer is C. Pull gently forward in low gear against the locked trailer brakes then look at it carefully.